Welcome back to Unreal Craft, guys. Uh, this is week four now, I believe. Progression update week four. I've got a lot done this <laughs> this week. Um, and it's going to look like I've got nothing done at all. As you can see, there's no new machinery. But everything has had a complete update. You remember how I said we were going to get the dino DNA by using different types of amber and stuff. Well, I decided to scrap that. And we have actually got a few new items here. As you can see, we've got basic bio goo. And what's this? Dodo DNA? Interesting. Yeah, so let me get into the new egg update and I'll show you guys what we're going to do. All right, guys. So uh, let's start with the egg injection chamber that used to be called the egg incubator. And this has changed a lot. You need to basically craft yourself a basic fabricated egg that, keep in mind, requires bone meal and a normal egg. And then you can place one of those in there and they will have all their updated textures and everything. So don't worry about that. Place a, um, <laughs> a DNA in there for what dino you want to get and go ahead and click activate DNA injection. And that's going to go ahead and place the egg in there. And it's going to go ahead and get uh, a different type of egg when it's done. And that type of egg is called synthesized genome egg. And there's only one type available right now. And that is the dodo, because I've only created dodo DNA. I actually haven't created this other DNA for the other dinosaur we have at the moment. Uh, spoiler alert there as well. Why don't we put some basic bio goo in there, and then we can shift click a genome egg in. And we can go ahead and cultivate dinosaur. And this is going to change the model of it. It's going to tell you to wait. As you're reading this, the egg has been injected with bio goo to help the embryo inside it survive and form properly inside the egg. Please be patient. It will take time for the egg to be cultivated. And this will take exactly five minutes. And then you'll get yourself an egg. And once this is done, and this is done, the textures are going to change. So I'll just skip ahead right now. All right, guys. So the egg just got done. Um, the cultivator is still doing its thing. So why don't we go ahead and collect this new type of egg? And this is called a synthesized genome egg. And that's the one. Oh, it just got done. Perfect. And that's the one we put in here with BioGoo. Now we can go ahead and collect our cultivated egg. And yes, we actually do have a spawn item now. Now, this is a really annoying GUI glitch. And that will happen every time you right click it. It's to update the GUI and it's really annoying and I can't fix it. So, yeah. So why don't we go ahead and place these down and see what types of dinosaurs we get. Ta-da! We got a brand new image for the cultivated dodo egg. And I managed to shrink it down. They're actually small now. Now, some of these might not survive. I've actually added in deaths. Ah, perfect. First one we picked. Cultivated dodo egg. Embryo status? Failed injection. Unfortunately, the embryo was unable to survive the injection stage, which caused the specimen to become unable to form properly inside its eggs. No sounds can be heard coming from the inside. A few minutes later, you realize the egg is beginning to turn cold. There's no sign of life. So eggs can actually die now, and it is sad, and if you hit them, you do not get the egg back. However, if you find one that is hatching, you hit it, you can get your egg back. But that doesn't mean that it won't just fail next time. So, yeah. Let's get rid of all the ones that are dying. We don't want any of the dying ones. But yeah, at least now you guys... Oh, that one's definitely alive. I saw it move. That one's moved. That one hasn't. That one's moved a bit. And that one's definitely moved a bit. Yep. You can kind of just tell sometimes. This one looks stationary. No, it's, it's... Yeah, it just moved. All right. And then we've got another dinosaur here, which is the City Paddy. And it's actually one of my favorite dinosaurs in fossils and archaeology. And so we actually have... Oh, that one's alive. I don't know about this one. This one seems... No, that one's alive too. And yeah, so every egg now that you have has a chance to fail and die. And it is a 50% chance. 
So it's a very good chance that you're going to have a dead dinosaur egg. Which does kind of suck. Go ahead and keep those there. Now, I haven't actually tested these. I do not know if the city paddy is going to hatch and if it's going to spawn correctly. So as we speak right now, I'm actually testing a new mechanic. So I guess we'll wait five minutes and see if these new types of eggs actually hatch into their new dino. You guys have no idea how hard it was to create an actual item to be a spawn egg. It, I, I spent ages trying to modify different types of NBT data so that I could make any block or item a spawn egg. And I succeeded after hours and hours of progress and dying inside for like 20 to 25 minutes of constantly researching. And, and then I had to do the code for it. And then once I did that, once I thought finally it's over, I had to find a way to actually figure out how to get an egg back when you actually kill the thing. And, and, and that was a nightmare. And it, it's just been hell. This week I've done literally this. This is it. This is an entire week's progress. You place, you place a spawn egg down and it spawns yourself an egg. Oh, looks like one of them just got in a stage too. It's nice to know that they're actually spawning their particle effects at the right time. Because I never tested that either. I do need to lower the particle effects though a little bit. Because that is kind of overkill. Yeah, maybe I can shrink it down just a little bit. Maybe get it to like come out the top of the egg. Because them smoking like that's kind of crazy. But I do want some particle effects to happen, you know? I, I don't want it to just fail. Uh, can we get rid of the ones that aren't going to hatch? Yep. You can kind of just tell. They're not moving. You can kind of tell. But obviously don't hit them if if they are moving because then you'll still get your egg back but if you place it down again it might actually fail. I don't know. Maybe I'll make a duplicate of this item where if you place it down again it spawns a fully uh, working egg. I think that's what I'm going to do, actually, because then what's the point in moving your eggs around, you know? If you're just going to be risking it again. So I'm definitely going to be doing that in the next update. I'm actually going to add that to the sticky note document I use. Anyway, I'll come back to you guys when these are hatching. Oh, wow. I stand corrected. Looks like these are actually entering stage two as well. Wow. Damn. Oh, we've just got a dodo hatch. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, that's so cool. Come on. You can do it. There we go. Oh, wow. Wow. It works. I didn't test these. I didn't know if they were going to survive or hatch or work. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, it's my favorite dinosaur. Oh my god, I'm so happy. This, this is what I love about mod pack creation. Seeing quite literally your work come to life. This is so cool. So are all these female then? You guys are quick at hiding, huh? Female. Female, they're so adorable. I love them. I love city patties. They're, they're just... They're incredible. Yeah, just like everything else in Unreal Craft, they're all female. The dodo DNA that the basic cultivat requires? There's no way of getting it. So, there's a lot I need to do, but... I think this was pretty successful, guys. Yeah, that's this week's progress. Really small progress update. Literally nothing. Um, yeah. 
that's literally it. That's all I have to show you guys. But the amount of background work that got put into all of this. Hey! You hacked! Just in time for the outro. Cool. Welcome to the world, buddy. Yeah, so all the work that actually got put into all this was crazy. Um, obviously, this new updated egg is now useless. <laughs> That I quite literally updated in the last video. I mean, I I'm thinking eggs like this, as big as this, we gotta have for like, I don't know, maybe a Bronto or something. No, a Bronto egg would be way bigger than that. I want, I want a Bronto egg to be like this size, like a four block size. Like, I think that would be so cool. Because what I love about Unreal Craft is you can have different sized eggs. So, I can make an egg any size I want. And so what's to stop me just... ...doing this? Just having an egg that size, 4x4. Four four. And then a, an Indominus Rex hatches out of it or something. You know, I mean, if it's a really big dino, it's going to have a really big egg. I mean, I, I just like the thought of that, you know, like having special machines to carry these m massive eggs. Maybe we have like a massive cult of that. That like, let's say you spend hours getting like an Indominus Rex genome and you put it into this massive like 16 by 16 multi-block structure that gets you in super advanced cult of that or something like that. Imagine... How cool that will be. And I plan on doing that. And so there's going to be massive eggs when it, for when it comes to, like, Indominus Rexes and that. And so the fact that you start so basic. And I actually do have plans for different types of armor. Which I won't go into detail because there will be a tiered system. And I don't want to kind of ruin it. But there will be different types of armor. Um... Mostly the Rex armor is going to be mid-game. Then you've got the Indominus armor. Um, and that's basically based on the fossils and, and all the different types of... You've got the Rex bone armor, and then you've got the Rex scale armor. And there's, it's, it's a very... In, it's a very... They have different attributes basically they have different types of things like one will give more resistance the other will give more flat defense the other one um i'm gonna have one that will increase health regeneration and so it's gonna be really hard to do that but i'll figure it out i mean i've got this far right i've figured out how to quite literally travel to another dimension and create my own time machine. I'm pretty sure I'm going to figure out how to add healing abilities to armor sets. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys in the next update. Um, peace!